Hi, my name is Jennifer, and this video is a demonstration of a technique that I use with my dyslexic son to help him learn his spelling words. The technique is based off of a visual conceptual method, and this means that the student is learning the entire word while also having a picture clue that helps them re recognize the word and retain the word as well. So today I'm going to demonstrate the technique using some very simple words, but at the end I will post some harder words so that you can see how the technique would apply to those harder words. The materials that I use for this technique are a whiteboard, some dry erase markers, and of course the spelling words. My son's spelling words are all based on a phonics concept for the week that they are learning. In this video demonstration, I will show you all the words based on the phonics concept of IGH. So the first word that we're going to do is light. And I have a few different colored markers here um, based on the letters that we do. So I always highlight the phonics concept in red. So IGH in all of our words will be red. All the other letters will be black. And then any pictures that I do will be in any other color. I have blue, purple, orange, whatever else you want to use. So here we go, light. Draw the L in black, I, G, and H will be in red, and again, T will be in black. Now we have to come up with a picture. So I look at this and I think of a light bulb. Well, the T kind of, if you go around it, is the shape of a light bulb, so that's the easiest thing I'm going to do. I'm just gonna draw a light bulb right around it. And I'm not a very good drawer, but this is my attempt at a light bulb. And there you go. Light. The second word that I'm going to demonstrate is might. When I think of might, I think of strong. So I'm going to attempt to draw strong arms. So again, write my word. M is in black. I, G, and H will be in red. And T will be in black. And since there's no real good way within the word that I can see to do strong arms, I'm just going to tack it on to the end. And there is my. Okay, the next word is going to be night. So again, same thing we do. N in black, I, G, H in red, and T in black. For night, I think moon and stars, so I'm just going to put those around to signify night. Night. Now some of the words may be challenge words, and some of the words might have more than one syllable or a compound word. If that's the case, I usually try to break up the syllables or break up the compound words um, with the picture or with something in, in the word so that he can segment the word and know how to break it up in order to spell it, in order to read it and recognize it and all that. So the first one I will demonstrate is weeknight. Again, I'm just going to write it like this, and then when we draw the picture, we're going to segment it that way. Um, normally, I would write week in all black, since it doesn't have the IGH concept that we're demonstrating. Um, but I choose to do um, the EE -E in red, because that's a concept that my son has already learned, and I want him to keep recognizing that. So I will do the E and E in red, so he can recognize that. And then the N in black, the IGH, of course, in red, and the T in black. Now, I've already done night over here, so I am not going to change this. I'm going to use the same symbols here and here. So he can that's consistent, and he can recognize that anywhere. But for week, I think of a calendar. So I'm going to break up right in between week and night and make a little calendar around it.
And I'll put Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday in there. Okay, so I've made the calendar for a week, and then night, as I said, we're going to keep the same symbols there to keep it consistent, not to confuse. So that's how we would break up week night. So that segmenting and keep the picture that we've already done. Now another example of a more challenging word that they might have in this would be lightning. So we're going to write our word out. Now, lightning is not a compound word like this, but it does have more than one syllable. So what I do is I will take, when a lightning, think of lightning bolt, I am going to take the lightning bolt and make it segment where it should after light. That way he knows L-I-G-H spells light, N-I-N-G is the ending. And it seems to work really well for him. So I'll show you one more. And sometimes you have to get really creative. If I can't think of what it means, I will go and search clip art or search the internet for images that, one, I could draw myself, and two, that my son would recognize. If that still doesn't work, I just ask him, what do you think of when you think of the word high? And this is one we struggled with because I wasn't sure how to draw high. So he said high dive. So this is what we did for high. Wrote out the word. And we made this H into a high dive. This is the ladder. We just drew a line up next to it and over here and drew a little person. I usually do stick people because I'm not very good. Drawer and water. That's how he knew high. And so you kind of got to get creative, but it works. If you can come up with a picture and integrate it into the word or around the word, they will recognize it and they will retain it. Now when I talk about weeknight and I talk about lightning, these are the way that I do it. If your son or daughter has not already learned EE, I wouldn't confuse them by already by putting this in red. I would stick with black. That's easier. Um, if for lightning, why don't you use the light bulb over here? Because they're learning in whole words, they are learning all the entire word at once. I want each individual word to have their own picture. So lightning is only one word, maybe more than one syllable, but it's only one word, so I only want one picture associated with lightning. Here, week and night, those are two separate words on their own, so we want a picture for each of those. So after you get your board done, what you want to do is make sure your child knows what each word says, that they can recognize it. Um, and then finally, you want to practice the words. We started out for five minutes a day. I would say each word and he would write them down. Uh, I have my board in my kitchen, uh, just suction cup to a sliding glass door and I have curtains that I pull over every morning over breakfast. Takes us five minutes and we're to the point now where I just say one of the words and he will spell them back to me orally. We've, we've moved past writing, but originally we did start off writing them. So that is what we do, five minutes over breakfast for the week, and by Friday he's good to go on his spelling work. This technique has really worked for my son. He is very visual in his learning. So the picture is a really key component in helping him to recognize a word, retain how to spell it, and read it as well. And this has been such a great tool for us to help him excel at spelling.